and her stand. Hello everyone, I'm so grateful to have you here watching this video unfold. Today I have gained inspiration from De La Han. I shall put the original video here. On making a DIY crochet bag essentially, so a woven chunky polyester yarn bag. Um, so we shall be hand doing it today and replicating her bag as seen in her video. This is the yarn that I chose to do. So I got this one from Amazon, which I shall link below. It seemed like such a fun bag to do. So we will be trying it out uh, together, seeing how it's put. Put together so we're to make a slip knot be the challenge of what hand should the slip knot be in okay so it looks like she's got the just like this i just cross so she's like an actual slip knot that you do in crochet makes sense crochet bag i might just make this the thumbnail i just don't know how it's all gonna turn out so at least this looks semi okay So we've gotten through so much of it already and I seemingly not, this is not the shape she's showing. It just ends up having a gap in it for some reason so I need to just redo it. I feel like I'm not even being funny for the video, I promise, I promise. What is this? <laughs> that is what it should look like. That is the V. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. We're, we're, just, we're just gonna roll with that. Oh, that looks kinda cute already. I think that this is six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Essentially, just in case you can't hear the video, you're making sure that these two are the same height, basically. So for when you're doing the bag along the way, it's, even here's the next chain so we're just doing the one after so loop four so i never count this boost this is the slip knot so we don't include this so it's one two three four three, four we know it's this one put the fingers in and then we go up from we go up make it the same height as these and the this one Kind of looks like a hand of like a dinosaur or something. I need to order more of this yarn actually because I've only got this small ball and then one other. We've just tied a knot in the top. Now we're inserting the fingers in the first one. I'm making another loop. So where your first stitch is, you then have two loops in the one basically. So likewise, this one, you'll then be feeling out where the other loop is, stretching it a little bit, putting the yarn up and making a loop. That's what I'm assuming we're having to do next. So then for the second one, you're feeling where the hole is, you're putting a second loop up. So there's two loops, all the rest just have the one loop and then you're just repeating that with all of the six. going along the first outer loops and then we're going in the inner loops.
this down and um, cotton this. <laughs> The work's gonna curl this way, which is fine. So it's perfectly fine if it curls. Okay, makes sense. So we're on rule four. A good tip which I pointed out was how it's an anti-clockwise. So you'll see that this is my start of my new rule. Turn it around. We're starting at anti-clockwise. So we should be going up here and around. That's you done rule four. Rule five, so we always go up. Um, and we take it around in an anti-clockwise. End of this one, flip it around, do the same here. I'm loving this woven yarn, the little chunky yarn. So yeah, it's gonna curl like that and it's gonna obviously curl in the words, which is fine. If anyone's attempted this bag, let me know for a similar crochet project or um, even providing suggestions of projects to try. Ooh. Going up to this, I'm just a way to order some more of the yarn. It would be so ideal if I could just finish it today, but life is never that simple, is it? So this is the end of row five and I shall be back when I've ordered some new yarn. So I'll see you then. Two weeks later. We're back. We'll be right back. So hopefully this will be suffice to finish off the handbag. I believe we were on the fifth row. The bag is now looking like this. This is what we're working with. I'm going to be casting on the new yarn and we shall continue building up the bag to the height that I so wish. We shall take the yarn, but we'll take the next one, we'll thread it through the loop, just put it through like so, leaving enough um, longer bit here. We're taking both of these out now, like I was doing before. We'll never underestimate how hard this is to like hold up and show. Just tie it like that. I'm going to tie this now. We're going to tie a knot in it. Okay, and now we're just going to build the bag up to where we would like it. So that's like a tip I would say is to ensure that your work is not going to be hidden. It's not going to fall down, but it's going to curl. But see, like this one's easily hidden. This one as well can easily be hidden. It's all very dependent on how big each loop is because it's very, very easy to just get lost, essentially. So we've done up a bit of the bag, a bit more of the bag here. So I've just continued to go around. We're trying to take this loose bit out as well to wrap in it. We've just tucked this away so there we go we've just tucked it away right now and we're going to be doing the bag border now so now that we have stretched out the bag like so somewhat and you should have seven rows as De La Han is saying we're going to take the yarn from the sixth stitch the last stitch that we did should be at the end of the row. We're going to take this and put it in the this stitch, thread it through completely and we're going to now be making the border of the back. So basically just threading it through and then we're just going to be doing this for all the other stitches. So we've gotten to the end of the order. I just cut this because I never had enough yarn. We're just going to make the bag strap now. So same process as usual. Where we can see that there is a row going up the way. We will then make the bag strap to be in alignment with that. Going to take this, put it where in 
So then here that we are making chains. So I'm actually just doing this all the way over. So yeah, as I've learned, this has to be very tight together. So that's the thing to take away from this. It should be more like this and not like this. So we're just gonna redo it until it's okay. Essentially making this so it goes over. So after we've counted our six, just six away from the first stitch that we made and then we are put, going to put the bag shut when you're satisfied with the height over. I'm going to cut the yarn that's still attached off and then first of all I'm going to hide these two from where the bag strap is joined. We're going to be taking the strap and following on from the video. So we're replicating the V pattern, find where the strap starts and where it should end. I'm going to just tie that in. I threaded this through so, we, so that this has just got a knot at the end of the handle. Counted my six over from here. This is my sixth one and then I will be putting it through. This is my understanding of it, so that this is like a V and you've tied it in such a way it semi looks like that. At least it will from a distance. I'll stay the hand shoulders, putting it through and just weaving it in and out of another bit of the bag. I'm going to be cutting this so it blends in better. As long as you know how to do this, you'll honestly be okay. Like you've mastered one of the most crucial parts of the video is hiding the seams alongside, not making your stitches too big. Okay, so this gets cut in half. One piece of this is going to one bit and the other is going to another. One piece is getting wrapped around one stitch and the other is going to another. And then we're just going to be taking this and tying a knot in the second one basically. And this is the bag. So I'm like, this is the bag. It will be on my Etsy shop. Maintenance is currently on the website, but when it's live, I will let you know. I think overall the bag is, the bag is a really good, I can't say recipe, it's a really good tutorial to follow. Well, it will of course be linked into the description. I might just redo this, but I feel the story is really, really good. It's a good tutorial to follow. It's actually really good. It's actually quite sturdy and it's actually pretty good. Do let me know if you give the bag a try yourself. I will check out your video. I'm happy to have a conversation with anybody in the comments as well. Please do feel free to comment and we can have to continue the discussion further. Thank you so very much for staying by me and I shall hopefully see you again soon. Hey, I'm going to pull the top up. Just tie the knots. I don't know if you can even see that. So the camera's overheating. I'm just preparing to get the camera off because I'm gonna, I'm going to soon see the temperature button. I'm like trying to figure this out with this lighting. You know when you're sitting down so much in a seat and your back's just like hunched and it feels weird to sit any other way. I feel like I look whiter than Casper the ghost.